widow is here, was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. He thought he'd heard something in the corridor. Was there someone there with him? His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped like an animal. He had to get out of there. Getting really scared now, he decided to call the police. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed, and that wasn't even the worst part. There was a photo of a black cat set as screensaver, he remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him, a whisper. More like a... her. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She came closer, like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him, his knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. Ha ha ha! Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself and I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam, because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop, and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list.
Right. I should be able to use that computer now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It's not him either. God damn it! That means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right. We need some sleep. Thanks, Susan. It meant a lot that you came with me today. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Flat five? That's the old guy. It can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's get some coffee. just you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be alright. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better.